The reason I love making these asset reviews is mainly because it's kinda cool to have a voice amongst game developers regarding what assets are worth checking out and not. Another reason is because we can arguably find the most life-questioning incredible questions. For example, Gunther on our previous episode asked, is Unity eatable? Is Unity eatable? I mean, you could be a regular pleb and work on your game in Unity, but you know, at the end of the day, Gunther is gonna be eating that scene window in Unity, boy. Like I said, I mean, super, super inspiring comment right there, guys. Well, anyway, I hope you guys are enjoying your day so far and having a great Sunday. I am having a great Sunday, I would say. I am getting a bit better. Uh, my sickness is kind of... Don't tell him one, but low-key, I think my sickness is over, yo. I don't want to say that out loud, dude. Somebody, I swear, like an FBI agent is literally, at this point, literally listening to our conversation with you guys and actually jinxing me when I say that. I become sick after saying it. Well, either way, in this episode, we're going to check out an asset called Map Magic World Generator. So let's go ahead and start it up, guys. And if you enjoy, make sure to drop a like down below. Hit that thumbs up button in the face. It's super appreciated. And now let's get into the video, guys. Take me to church, I worship like a dog at the shrine of light I'd say you're my sin so you can shop at your night Offer me that deathless death or good girl Hey what's up guys, it is Psycho Sam here and welcome back to the channel And you know the drill, you know the new schedule So today is Sunday which basically means a new episode of the asset review show that we run on this channel. Speaking of which, if you're actually new to the channel and to the community, make sure to subscribe so that you stay up to tune for new content and join our family. And if you want to become a part of the family even more in depth and actually take a part in the discussions being held, etc., make sure to join our Discord server. We are actually running it, so you can click the link in the description or in the pinned comment and you'll be right in there. But now, let's talk about the asset that we are going to cover up in this video. So this is basically a asset pack which is a node-based procedural and infinite map generator which is developed by Dennis Pahuno. I think I pronounced that the written name right? I don't know. <laughs> I've just acknowledged the fact that I'm gonna get sued one day because I butcher everybody's name left and right. Like I don't even know what's wrong with me anymore. But you can find the asset on the asset store under tools, terrain, and the price for this asset is initially $75, but it actually Actually gets reduced to 60 bucks for Unity Pro or Plus owners. I know it's not a very common thing, but in case you own one of these two plants, you're gonna get the asset for $60 basically. Now let's talk about the asset a little bit further and then we're gonna get into the developer response, which is the support for the asset. If you're creating a 3D game and you wanna have a big or in fact infinite procedurally generated map for your game, you can use map magic for that very reason. Because if you are making a bigger map, you know that it can get a little bit annoying to design such a huge map by sculpting the terrain, placing thousands of objects like the vegetation, rocks, painting textures and so on, right? Therefore, this asset will take care of that part for you and it only requires you to enter the orders in the form of a node graph. Speaking of which, that's actually a feature of this asset and we're gonna get into, we're gonna focus on that feature a little bit further in this video. But before that, we can actually talk about the main features of the asset. So first and foremost, there is compatibility for popular assets like Voxel Land 5, CTS, Megasplat, RTP, and even U Nature out of the box so it's ready for being used within these assets too. It also supports multiple biomes such as forests, deserts, D deserts? It's deserts, isn't it? I'm sorry, my... <laughs> oh, look at you, laughing at my mistakes. I'm sorry for not having English as my main language. Well, like we were saying, deserts, and also deserts if it <laughs> floats your boat. But it also basically supports snowy terrains, jungle, and other terrain types in case you want to use those. And not only does it actually take care of sculpting the terrain part, but it also paints it with textures, places the vegetation, and other prefabs you actually wish for. Now let's talk a little bit about the support for this asset. So in case you check out the asset store page, you can see a lot of a bunch of different reviews posted and almost every single one of these actually have replies. And especially those who end a end with a question and need help etc they obviously receive replies right off the bat which is awesome to see there's also an active forum thread running for this asset so if you want to get in touch with these guys and require support or need assistance with anything specific you can definitely get in touch with them very easily the asset was initially released in march 2016 and currently it's at version 1.9 and it was released february this year actually so previous month now we're going to be talking about the pros and cons of this asset and i'm 
I'm gonna give you guys my honest opinions regarding this asset pack and then we're going to get into what comes in the asset which is where we look into the asset inside of unity so make sure to stick around so first and foremost let's begin with the pros let's begin with the good parts the first pro that I want to bring up here is the fact that there is a node system obviously and it is actually very easy to work with and that's specifically important because that is the primary way you tell the asset what it's actually supposed to do what it's supposed to create in the form of a terrain the biomes you want to use the different kinds of vegetation and all that kind of stuff right and it's just straight up good to see that the the focus was obviously mainly for the developer you to be able to easily interact and communicate with the asset in order to create exactly what you want as easily as possible. Now, like I said before, it also supports biomes, meaning that you have a lot more variation for your games. So you don't really have to stick for one type of style or one type of kind of blended shape. You can actually blend all types of textures and all types of materials you want to use for your terrains like a jungle, like a forest, like a dirt kind of ground, and then from out of nowhere, a desert or desert, as you guys say, um, and also snow and all that kind of stuff. And by using the nodes, you can easily edit noise, blend, curve, scatter, forest, and such features. When they're all connected, the asset kind of creates everything for you. So it just requires them to be connected to each other so that it basically knows what it's supposed to do. Because obviously, once again, it's the way you communicate with this asset. And now let's talk a little bit about the cons. So I will be honest, I actually found no issues with this asset. So far, I've been using it for the past week and I've literally experimented with it quite a lot actually. I've seen the features, I've seen the node system, and I pl I got the chance to actually play with it. And I saw that some people were complaining on performance on the reviews, but having tried this by, by myself now, I did not see any performance issues, honestly. The asset works in the background so that Unity does not lag or freeze while generation takes place. So some memory usage is normal, and even an expected behavior. So I don't really see what people were annoyed about or complained about. I can definitely say that the asset works smoothly and I was not having any issues working on Unity or with the asset specifically while it was generating my maps. I am also aware that the price will be a talking point for some people, some certain people. Uh, for me, honestly, I did not feel like it was expensive at all. I thought that it was actually very cheap for judging by the quality of it and, you know, comparing it to the other assets that are in the same price zone uh, I thought that this was actually pretty cheap for the quality that it provides me with it literally covers up everything that I need an asset like this to actually feature and there are some more expensive assets there are some more you know cheaper assets but I thought that this was at a perfect kind of price range because I can afford it even if I was just an indie developer who's making my own game because it's kind of like fitting the budget of many indie developers so I didn't really find any problems with it Alright guys, so here we are in Unity and before concluding this video, like I said before, we're going to be taking a look into Unity and into the asset pack inside of Unity actually. That's a better way to put it. So here we have the mother root folder like I usually say. It's so cringy but I continue saying that because I kind of feel like it sounds cool. I don't know. Let me know in the comments if you find it cringy or something like that. Anyway, so to start off with, we obviously have a manual which is a in the in the form of a PDF file so if you want to check it out there it's there and we also have a readme file so you have a little bit of quick information before you get started but the manual is obviously what I recommend you to check out as soon as you pick it up in case you do pick it up and then we have a few directories here the first one is actually called demo and inside of here it's quite good it's quite of a good layout that the author uses for the asset and the directories and the subdirectories here because you inside of the demo scene or the demo folder sorry you pretty much have all the folders that are related to the demos that are used so you have grasses a few grass textures you have land textures for the terrain you have materials that are used for the skybox and for the uh, the water itself then you have the scenes themselves, which is what I was searching for when I actually clicked on demo. But then I found out the, the subdirectories were actually laid out pretty good. And um, we are obviously in the demo scene right now. So this is the one. We also have a tutorial that is created by them, which is an island. So they generate an island and show how it actually goes. We also have scripts where you can find all these scripts that are for the demo, like the camera floating around and stuff like that. We also have shaders, sprites, stones, textures, 
and then trees obviously so if you want to use these 3d models or grass textures land textures or terrain textures um etc in your own game you can obviously do so by checking out this folder and then we also have a editor folder which is where all the editor scripts are located so you don't really have to check it out but it's for the node system and all that kind of stuff so like i said it's not very important for you to check out because you don't have any business in those unless you want to create a you know editor extension and you want to take inspiration by it but um unless you want to check it out for reference obviously it's nothing that you really have to check out we also have the generators folder, which is where all the generator scripts are located. So in case you want to check it out and see how the generation process is done, you can check it out. And um, it's a pretty cool feature to actually include it, although it's necessary to include because otherwise it's not going to work in Unity. <laughs> so we also have the main folder where all the main scripts are located for, for the certain features for the node system, like I said. So as you can see you can you have a script for chunk the chunk grid curve uh the erosion extensions generator oh god the voice crack <laughs> so you'll have literally a like separate script for every feature that is supported in the node system so these are all the things you can actually edit in the nodes uh which is pretty cool that they have you know um, kind of separated them or divided them into every like separate scripts so uh, so that it kind of keeps it a little bit more clean and organized last but not least we also have the resources folder where it's literally just everything used by the editor window and also in the unity like when you or the game itself when you play the demo you obviously have a little bit of ui here so these are these ui icons and the ui skin itself is actually located in here and that is pretty much it all right, so like I said, we are now going to conclude this video before ending it up. And uh, in, in conclusion, who would I recommend this asset to? I'm just going to give my f like two personal cents uh, or personal two cents. There we go. So anyone making a big map for their 3D game should honestly check this out. I don't, I don't necessarily, you know, I'm not selling it out. I'm not going to say go ahead and buy it. But I feel like it's quite cheap. And here I talk about the original price, not even the reduced price. And I, I still think it's quite cheap for the quality and the performance issues that people were reporting on or a few people were reporting on. It was not very like popular and a common issue people were finding, but it was just something that I saw, you know, stick out in the reviews and I didn't find anything. I didn't find any issues. Maybe it was before like a couple of years ago, but right now I don't have any issues with it at all. So if you want to check out the asset by yourself and see for yourself, you can obviously do so by clicking the link in the description. As per usual, I always leave the links for these assets to the asset store pages obviously uh in the description boxes of my videos so that it becomes easy for you because i know you guys are as lazy as i am nobody likes to go to the asset store page type in the letters search for it just click the link it's literally there <laughs> anyway guys hope you all enjoyed this episode of the asset review show if you did make sure to drop a like down below all the thumbs ups are very appreciated highly appreciated because it kind of makes me kind of makes it obvious for me to realize what kind of content you guys would like to see more of speaking of which if you have any assets you would like me to check out for the next episode of this show let me know in the comments hit me up with links if you have them uh, so that it becomes easier for me to check them out as well but um let me know if you have any assets and i will make a video out of them and um also subscribe obviously like i said before if you're new around here so that you stay up to tune for new content new asset reviews and giveaways and such stuff and um like i said also before um if you want to join the family a little bit more in depth which i strongly and highly recommend you to do make sure to join our discord server the link is in the description and also in the pinned comment now with that being said guys i hope you all once again enjoyed your time and you hope you do enjoy your time from now on i will actually see you guys with a new video tomorrow because i took a day off yesterday so i'm just gonna kind of break my schedule for a little bit until thursday and make a video tomorrow so i will see you guys and your beautiful faces tomorrow and also tonight at discord or in the comment section so see you guys have a good night Peace out. Take me to church.